friends, welcome back! We're playing this game again, do you see it? We're playing, we're playing more Doki Doki Literature Club. And as you can see, my camera is so much better, and I got a new microphone. Actually, I already made a video with these, but it, I, it hasn't posted yet because of the, I think like the stupid footage corrupt, corrupted or something. So, but if I figured it out, I might be able to post that first. So, I don't know if, but like, so either this one, or the other one will show my microphone first. But yeah, either way, I'm showing it to you in both videos, so. Oh no! I don't know if that sounded bad or good or not. Actually, it probably sounded more bad than good. But, oh, whatever. Also, I, you can hear the music now. I was acting so stupid. I was dancing to the music, and it, was, it made me look so stupid. And But now you can actually hear it. Now you can hear those fire bars that I said. Oh yeah. All right, time to play the woman game again, though. So, um, oh yeah, last time. What the heck? Oh, okay, oh, never. Mind. Last time it ended on Yuri going to give me something. I mean, it was my birthday like a few days ago, so you better give me something good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please. Hello. Oh, um, I don't care. Oh, the music back. What is it? What are you gonna give me? Is it doing this again? Oh, n never mind. Ugh, I want it. Sayuri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Give, hand it over. Hand over, hand over the, the, the gift. I want, I want the thingies. Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Oh, that sucks for you, then. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Uh, I don't want to do that, though. Uh, hold. I have to put my microphone in a good spot. I'll get the mic good. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Is it though? What if what if she gives me like something like dangerous? What if she gives what if she gives me a bomb? That's not that's not very a pleasant surprise, is it? That wouldn't be very pleasant. I would have died. And you know, it's just for me is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what, unless it's a bomb, because that would be very bad. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be, unless you do. Then I can make it a big deal. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty then. Load. Well, here. Here he reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want a book. I don't want a book. Book is boring. I don't read. Ugh. Oh, uh, whatever. Never mind. Uh, I don't want. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. What if I don't? It's a short read, so I, it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, what? Discuss it if you want. What the flip? No! That, that means I have to, like, talk to people, and I don't like doing that, even though I'm literally doing that right now to you. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much? That's crazy! Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this! I, I won't. I'm not going to, am I? I enthusiastically take the book. Oh yeah, I got the book. I just pulled that out from, I don't know what that was. I just pulled it from my mom's desk. Ooh. Well, you can definitely read it at your own pace. I don't read. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for club. Also, I just realized, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a cool little hat that I wore in my in my one video a while ago talking about my new videos with the VR thingy thing. 
Yeah, I'm wearing a Pokemon. It's it's so amazing and cool. It makes me look like a gangster. Alright, whatever. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sarah and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. I'm gonna hold this. I'm really curious to talk to, to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. Did you want to read with me? Would you like to read with a little zippy man, a little zappy, a little zappy boy? Look at that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Oh god, the, the music changed. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, crap. <gasps> what happened? I think she knows me looking at her. Oh no, I've been caught. I'm, I'm being a creep. Creep, creep police. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Ah! 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 No, get away. Get away. Ow. Oh god, my knee. I hit my knee on the wall. I'm so stupid. My knee hurts. Ow. Whatever. Move the chair. Dot, dot, dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper into the book. This hat is itchy. Sorry. I was just spacing out. Obviously. What else would I have been doing? I'm out of this. Sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. Yeah, you were just focused on me, because I'm like a, a beautiful little man. I'm so hot and, and a built and amazing. <laughs> but I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. And that's the book you gave me, right? Oh god, glitch. The music is glitching out, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Or are you sure about that? I can kind of tell you're doing something weird. Just curious how come you... Oh, just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Because you want to read with me, don't you? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I, I just happened to buy two of them. Makes sense. Obviously. Oh, I see. It's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. Hmm. I'm not gonna read it though, am I? Because I'm like a stupid illiterate fella in this game, apparently. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Hashtag relatable. Am I right, guys? That sounded stupid. I'm never saying that ever again. What's it about, anyway? Well, mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled, Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous eye sim looking eye symbol on the front cover. Is it, is it about, like, scary monsters? Because that's what it sounds like, it has a creepy eye. I have a creepy eye. That hurts my eyes, ah. The camera has a ring light and it hurt. Did it? All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. Yeah, yeah, like like she said, that's very relatable. Happens to me like every day. Like like currently right now, I'm being hunted by human experiments. They're right outside my door. They're they're invisible though. But yeah, that that happens all the time. It's just just every Thursday for me to be honest. That's kind of that's kind of dark, isn't it? You already made it sound like it was gonna be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah ha 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 ha. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. 
Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Cody? Don't make fun of me. And no, it's not that. Well, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be so, be completely different. It's just the, the, those kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Very relatable. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Because they have their own goals, or, or their own phil philosophy that they believe in. But I like when a villain is, uh, he just, uh, they just want to like, look be evil just because it's funny. Or they like to. They don't care. And then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Yes, you are. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. No, it's not. I've lost so much interest. The book is about um, Markov people that are experiments. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I want to let things like the book and the writing fill my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Oh, jump. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. You already do that a lot. And please stop me if I'm talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. That means you're a smart feller. And not a fart smeller. Unlike me. I'm a, I'm a fart smeller. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, you might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Come on, man. Makes sense already. Huh? Let me get the... Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I saw the next series. I didn't even, like, wait for it or spawn, so I'm just mean... I'm just a bully head. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad boy. I should go and time out. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is really good company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Because that happens a lot. People always get distracted by my gorgeous looks. Oh, <laughs> I just dropped my hat. Okay. It was itchy anyway. Oh, God. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. Now open the book and start the prologue. I still don't understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly, ble particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Come on, man. Don't do that. That's bad. I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. You did it again! What are you doing? You are stupid! Oh my god! Oh, why did you do it again? I literally told you not to. I just, I just looked in the camera and saw the red light in, on this, and it looked really weird. Wait, what the heck? It looked green or something on this. Oh, no, never mind. Whatever. It looked weird. It looked green for some reason. I mean... <laughs> I'm laughing at her because she's a goofball. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against yours, and then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes our own copy. Once we le each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in, is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. <gasps> oh my god! There's art in this game! What the heck? Bro, HD woman. What the heck? Oh, oh, dang, I didn't... I didn't read that. I'm stupid. Ah. Uh, 
I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. The way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. The thumbs are they're moving the page thing. It's actually kind of distracting me. Sorry guys, I got a little bit distracted for a second. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Ready for what? Huh? Can I turn the page? Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. Uh, that's okay. Oh, she's smiling at me now. You're not supposed to, you're not as used to reading, right? Oh, so that still changes the face. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. You no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. He said I just assumed that she finishes bef the page before me, so I turned it by my own volition. Vol voli volition? Yeah, that's volition. I'm gonna save right here. Just in case, like, this stupid thing closes again. I don't want to go through all that again. Okay. Instead, I do- oh, wait, no. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels- almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side, and she catches it with her own, under her own thumb. What's with this game in thumbs? Hey, Yuri. This might be a little a, be a silly thought, but the main character kind of run, reminds me of you a little bit. Yeah, like running running away from human experiments. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. That's gonna mean. Why would I say that? I am literally stupid. But she al she also kind of second guesses a lot of all the things that she says and does. Why am I saying this? I'm I'm acting like a rude person. I'm like literally stupid. What the heck? I'm like even stupid in the real life. Alright, I'm gonna put this down. Oh. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. I'm gonna get my hat back. Ugh. Hold on. I got it. There we go. There we go. The hat is back. My hat is back. Hold on. Gotta get my hair out so I don't look like Hitler or something. Me. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty cool now. It's not like I can see into her head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Oh, we're back to normal. Oh, man. Ugh. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Cody, that's probably a terrible... Oh, God, I almost burped. A terrible thing to have in common with her. Ugh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Ugh. Wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess it I meant more meant that it's kind of cute. You're kind of cute. You're pretty cute. A cutie patootie. Uh, uh Why did I say cutie patootie? I sound like a criminal. Oh god. What are you saying all of a sudden? That you're a cutie patootie. I should stop saying that. I sound weird. I... Okay, everyone. Oh, she's back. I haven't seen her in a while. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> Guys, look! I'm I'm Yuri. I l I like Cody in books. I'm a I'm a big woman. And now I'm now I'm Monica. Guys, go write your poems, or I'm gonna beat you beat you into the ground. Guys, do it, or I'll I'll kill you. I do the evil pose. I just remembered she does the evil pose. I should put it down here. Right. Oh! <laughs> oh god, why did I say it like that? I think it's just... I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Oh yeah, I completely forgot we didn't do that yesterday. Or in my last episode. We might not have enough time if we wait, wait too long. Ah. Oh no, the poems. Here exhales. Exhales. Spared from finishing your thought. Okay. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. 
Ah, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow, my thumb! You closed it on my thumb. It hurts. Ouchie! Ouchie! Wouchie! All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. I'm a good reasoner. I'm the thinker. I'm the thinker. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'm stupid. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters of on, in your own time. All right. I'll make sure to do that. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to, to write a poem last night? Yeah. Did I? Oh, I didn't do it in my in the comment section of my last video like I said I would. I'll do it right now, guys. Hold on. I have a, I have a pad here from my mom's office. I have a There we go. I got it right here. I'm gonna write a poem right now, guys. I'm be right back. Uh, where do I write it? I have no room on the table. Oh god, I dropped my phone. I'm stupid. Oh my god. Oh god damn it, it's doing this again. Everything's being destroyed. Okay, hold on guys. Hold on, I'm writing it right now. All right, I just finished, I finished my poem. I like food, I like ham, I like these women, goddamn. Alright. That's it. Mm. Tasty. I'm really stupid. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Or you like fish and eggs. Okay, I'm gonna pick this out. Ew, I have like paper bits in my mouth. That, that was delicious though. I, my teeth hurt. Ow. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Like eat paper and make a poem about how I like food and girls. No, these women. Goddamn. Oh, I, I didn't read that. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Okay. I can't wait. Oh, she's back. I haven't seen Natsuki yet. At all. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sarah's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral, spiral notebook. On the other hand, Mo Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I wrote my... Here's mine. Do you want it? Oh, it's wet, ew. Here, I have my poem! Oh my god. Oh, here's my... <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god! My poem, it's ruined! Does anyone want my poem? It has my saliva on it. Isn't that tasty? Would you like to eat some of my saliva? R rub it on yourself so you can feel me. Oh, that's nasty. Why did I do that? Okay, here's my, here's my poem. If anyone wants it. I do the same with myself, cool. Oh, just got my poem out of my bag. It's nasty, what the heck. I can see through it. Okay. Oh! It's a choice. I like this music. Alright, save. Boop. There we go. Just in case. Alright, who wants my poem first? Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, Monica. Mosoka. I should start with Monica. 
Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Yes. Alright. Oh. Hi, Cody. Hi, Monica. Having a good time so far? Sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Want my poem? Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid just to bring things up. Because I'm stupid. I'm much better- oh. I skipped it anyway. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Yes! Here it is! It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Yeah, it's very embarrassing. I have my saliva on it. I put it in my mouth. Um. Ah! The evil pose! Ah! Go away! No, I missed. Get, get away from me. I don't like the evil pose. Get away! Get away from me! Sorry that took so long, but I ha I'm back. Stay away from me with your evil pose. I have a weapon. It's back. It's here. Fruit Ninja time. I'm gonna kill myself with this, aren't I? Okay, okay I'm going to put it back now. Also, I don't know if you guys heard it, but yes, I quite literally broke something in there. It was the katana holder. It was being held up on a few hooks, and I broke it, so I had to put it back together. That's why it took so long. But yeah. Okay, stop doing the evil pose, please. No, don't worry, Cody. Please, stop, stop doing the evil pose. It's scary. It's scarifying. I'm gonna kiss my pet. Oh my god. This is gonna fall for a thing. But that's sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past it. Please stop doing the pose. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Where's the side? Okay, here it is. Take my poem. Would you like it? Fit it some more. Mm-hmm. Great job, Cody. Thank you! It's a it was amazing. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. I like food, I like ham, I like these women, goddamn. It's really metaphorical, yes. Very metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. It's <laughs> very deep. I like food, I like ham, I like w these women. Goddamn. It's very metaphorical and deep. It's easiest for me to expect uh, to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always gets when I put in some effort. But I don't do that. That's why my grades are so low in school. Let's see my grades right now. I'm going on my phone. Going on the nerd app. It shows me my grades. I got A, B, F, C, C, A, A. Those are my grades. I have an F in social studies. Whatever. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah! 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 Go away! I'm hiding my poem with it. Well, I guess it worked anyway. Oh, she's back. 
You know what? You know that Yuri likes this likes this type kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. That's good. That's a good thing. She's she's the one. She's the one that was like the cutie patootie. I swear to God, I need to stop saying that. All right. Oh, oh God. Okay, I was trying to stand up my mic. Look, no. Okay. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using symbol and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. <gasps> oh, boo hoo. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it, budget or um, out of it, just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. Of course, of, it can take it can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I don't need years of practice because I have. I like I like food. I like ham. I like these women. Got it. Best poem ever. I never really ask though. I like this music. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Uh, I think I'm better than her with my beautiful poem. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up. I've, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to, f to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else by me might be a little bi uh, a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh, are you, are you, I was just about to say thanks for not, for saying I don't need to impress people. You just did the evil pose and laughed at me, and now I'm scared. Ah ha ha ha! Whoa! That's what the evil pose laugh sounds like. Ah ha 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 No way! I'm like scared. So. <laughs> don't mind me. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Oh yeah, sure. I'm just gonna put this back on. Gotta put my drip on. Yes. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I feel feel that way, you know. I see. I see. Well, let's read it then. I like the music, even though it's like literally the same thing every time, but with a different instrument. No, this is fire. All right, I'm, oh, never mind. Okay, let's read. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the speck, the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left, I'm left out, of, out at, in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas! My rods and cones! All, already uh, scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. My rods and cones are burning. Uh, it's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. And that, per that he is me. I'm looking in at you. I'm th what's the hole? Is, is is the camera the hole? Actually, I, oh god, the hole is bright. The hole is very bright. Hold on. Well, let me show you guys. This is how bright the camera is. See? Oh wait, hold on. Wait, I'm dumb. Okay, there we go. This is how bright it is. That's how bright. It's very bright. So she's right about the bright hole being camera. That's a very bright camera. Oh. Okay, do I click it? Oh, it, oh, it was covered up by my camera. I'm stupid, but I figured it out anyway. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you will call it. Still not as good as mine. It's like a little piece coming off. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. That is a true statement. I'm, I'm very bad at that in real life, too. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. It has. Oh wait, I don't read poems, so I don't know. It, that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on in, on the timing between words and lines. 
load. Ah, oh, there we go. When I performed out rat, out, I said out loud. I'm, I'm like literally Scooby Doo right now. Row, row, raggy. Row, row, raggy. These women want to something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm stupid. When I performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some sort, some kind of epiphany lately, recently. What's, a, what's an epiphany? I have to search that up again. I'm just gonna search up a word every episode. Epiphany definition. A a usually sudden manifestation or 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 perception of the essential nature or meaning of something. Or, or an intuit or an intuitive grasp of reality through something, such an, as an event, usually simple and striking, an illuminating discovery, realization, or disclosure. So she just realized something. She realized the hole in her wall was really bright, and that I was looking through it because I, I was like looking into her into her room in the middle of the night because I'm a stalker, man. I'm like a little stalker. It's it's only because she does the evil pose. I get to do it. I get to be evil to her, back to her, because she does an evil pose. I don't like it. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is, a, a, is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try hard, or hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, just get a big dark puddle of ink. Oh, well, unless you're, like, using a pencil, but, like, okay. So just move your hand and go with the flow. Can't do that with the pencil, because pencils are ass for writing. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Bye. Uh, hmm. I haven't seen her yet today. Uh, see let's, let's just like do random. Oh, let me put my mic down. Oh, I picked. Okay, I picked Natsuki. The cursor is on her face. Ugh. Dot dot dot. Huh? Do you like it? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like me. Hey, that's rude! I'm gonna punch you in the face. You like cute things, don't you? You don't like my stuff. Because mine's cooler than you. I like food. I like ham. I like the, these women. Goddamn. That's much better than whatever you have. That's a little blunt. For real! That's what I'm saying. Can you, well, excuse me. It's not like it, I said it was bad. Yeah, I kind of did. It just didn't evoke any emotions. Yes, it did! So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste! Damn! Damn, I just, I just killed you. Uh, this is, this is cute. This is an adorable little Snorlax. Can I put it over my mic and see what, let's see what happens. That's probably gonna sound horrible. I'm sorry that you guys had to hear that if it does. Just like last time when I put my mouth over my, um, crappy, like, um, Apple, um, headphones. That's what I was using last night, uh, last time. Apple headphones. And now I got, like, an actual mic, luckily. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Ba -ba -ba. Do you want to get smacked? No. You can't do anything to me. I'm too powerful. I literally have that katana. I will go get it again. I'll pass. For real. I don't want to get smacked by you, bro. You get, you're, you get angry too much. You're just, like, mean to me, and I'm mean back. I, you deserve it. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Oh, it's a... This, sounds, this just sounds goofy. It's funny. Is that a recorder? Hold on one second, guys.
Okay, guys, I brought my prop. Come on. I have this. I have a recorder. Sorry, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Come on, can I do hot cross buns? I haven't done this thing in a while, in like years. I haven't done it in like since fifth grade. I remember doing hot cross bun. No, oh, oh. no, no. No, I can't. I can't figure. I can't remember. It just sounds the same. What the heck? Yeah, that sounded horrible. Never mind. Not doing that again. That was horrible, guys. I'm sorry, but yeah. That was the recorder I have. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. No, that's about it. Wrong. I can do m amazing things. Like write this beautiful poem. I like food. I like ham. I like these women. Goddamn. I'm going to keep saying that, you know, guys. I know you probably want me to stop already, but I'm not going to. You can't stop me. I'm going to kill you. Oh, my cat wants to get in. Hello, babies. Hello, you want to get in? Hello, hello, little 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 Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here. Oh, and she left. Bye-bye. Alright, never mind. She just does not like me, apparently, right now. She's probably gonna come back, though. But that's about it. I could do much more than that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, why did I move this? Oh, yep, she wants to be back in. There she goes. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I never said that. It was actually quite beautiful, but not as beautiful as my... Got stuck under this. Hi, hi, Po. She wants to get in. Look at her. Look at her. She's an, ador she's an adorable little monkey. Come on. Yeah. Hello. Hello there. She's cute. I like it. I'm petting my cat. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But is it the point of poems for people trying to express themselves? The writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. I'm God, bro. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but hits you hard. I like food. I like ham. I like these women, goddamn. I'm gonna keep saying that throughout the video. You know that, right? I, like in this poem, seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. I don't. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. My cat's under my feet. I, like, I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helped bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. You're not a pro, buddy. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Well, technically, you guys are in high school, and I'm only 14, so... You guys are probably older than me, so I'm not actually the youngest here. I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Natsuki is feeling proud of herself, proud, then I won't take that away from her. Come on. Gotta get something. Don't mind that. Don't mind the noise. 
Ah! What? Oh my god, the chair almost fell. Bro, what the heck? Bro, my heart stopped for a second. Oh, crap. Alright, who should I show next? Nah, how about Yuri? Sorry, Sayori, you're gonna be last. Please talk. Dot, dot, dot. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Huh? Did I say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> my writing is exceptional, though. I'm like an amazing writer. Oh, my cat's gone. I can close the door now. Hold on, guys. You can still, I think you can still hear me from here because I'm holding my microphone. Sorry, that sound, that probably sounded horrible, though. Uh, I keep doing bad stuff. Oh, and my, my cat's back. Seriously? I'll open the door a crack for Just because. So I don't have to keep opening and closing it. Your first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I, I... The cat wants to be let in. What do you have to say? What do you have to say to that? What do you have to say? Do you have anything to say about it? Say something. Okay, my cat... My cat said one meow. That's okay. She said she hates my content. I'm gonna lose it. Ugh, he's gonna hate me. Huh? Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Yeah, for real. My head is itchy now! Oh my god, I hate the cat. But it's still warm. That's... I guess you're right. Why am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Mary takes a deep breath, or uh, just a breath, not deep. I don't, I don't know why I said deep. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Well, actually, in sixth grade, I wrote like a, a three-page book uh, that well, I thought was really good, but it really wasn't. It was like a horror thing. Now I can close my door again. I do quietly this time so my cat doesn't hear me. There we go. The door has been success successfully closed. Oh, I can't. oh, okay, I have to take like a quarter up from there because I almost ran it over and probably could have crushed it. Oh, it has my name on it. And it has one name and another name. This one I tried to put my, like, a drawing for some reason, but I exited out for no reason, I guess. What kind of writing do you have? Your use of imagery and, and metaphors indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. I have not. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Are you surprised by that? You're stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Hmm. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um... Your trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Thoroughly. Th 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 yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are some specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And have been going, been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Are you saying my poem is bad? Cause that's poopy. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally, uh, totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Maybe she is, who knows? Of course, that's not something you could be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them in building uh, building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable, fe valuable feedback. Now, Suki can be a little biased, though. I saw that. That's true. That is a true thing. That's what I'm saying. I, I literally saw her do that. She was very mean to me. 
Bias, how? I literally just saw it. What do you mean, how? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Oh, yeah, I never picked up my poem and showed it to you. Here's my poem. Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which is itself is kind of funny. For real. Like, that was so funny. Bro. I'm dead. Don't ask why I have this. No. Uh, don't ask why I have a skull with me right now. Sorry, I was just one of my last victims. Cool. Okay. After all, th isn't this supposed to be a literature club? They change the music like every time for each poem. It's kind of cool. Oh wait, I just realized it literally matches their personalities. Like this one's like mysterious and fancy. Monica's was like I don't know. I couldn't really remember it. It was it was like a remix of the actual one. And then Natsuki's was literally a recorder, like a child version of it. A childish word. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, um, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Ooh, mysterious a ghost. Ah! Boo. 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 Oh, I did that. Well... I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I can't read cursive. I haven't, I don't know how to write cursive, guys. Like, I was, like, in one of the last, um, I was in, like, one of the last classes that even did it, but I had, like, one class that I actually got taught it, and I didn't figure it out. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Mm. Huh? More flabbergasted. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. No, actually it was very average size. I bet it has a good personality too. Not at all. I'm really glad, glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. It's something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a, go about a ghost at all, Cody. Hold on. What? No ghost? Really? Are you sure about that? Aren't you must have totally missed the point. Uh, it's fact. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. Okay. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In that case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. In this case, perhaps the subject- oh wait, I already read that. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. And that's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It's nothing, really. Yours is impressive, too, so no, it was not. Actually, yes, it was. Know what that means. I like food. I like ham. I like with these women. Goddamn. I'm gonna keep saying it. Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. 
We know a thing or two. So there's shit a thing or two. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, of course. What do you think? Uh. 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 You know. Yeah, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Cody. Ah. Me too. Oh, last one, Zay, worry. Let's see, let's see what like what weird music hers poems is. This is, this is my spit on the Chromebook, I think. I'm talking weirdly. Dot dot dot. Oh yeah, here's my poem. There it is. Poem. This is a good poem, Cody. I know. It's very good. Are you sure it's your first time? Yes. Of course. It's not that good. Actually, yes, it is. Look at it. It's beautiful. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Yes. Actually, no. Definitely not. <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, okay. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm just, I'm really happy that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really part of, a cl of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. You a little dingle dong. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet. But that doesn't mean I'll break, um, I'll break my promise. I'm a, I'm a good promising guy. I'm, I'm, I always do my promises all the time. See? It's like I said before, Cody. I'm the chair is very bouncy. It's fun. Mine. So just like my old tramp videos. I'm sorry I brought back the PTSD of those videos, guys. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for the other people. That's something that only really good people do. I'm a really good guy. I'm a really good person. And just because I'm a good person, I'm going to play you some music just like it is I know. I just played the music that's in this game. Is whether or not it wasn't that fire? I, I make the best music ever. I should be a music artist for real. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this club means to this, how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here. Okay. Okay. That will be my way of thanking you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have so much fun. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. You better do that. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Sure. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, here's the new music. It's doing snaps. And this one's just common. Alright. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed, making me making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> the sleepy from my eyes! Beautiful language. Was it, wait, what the... Did she like write the R wrong or is that just me? It looks really weird. It kinda looks like fub. Don't don't fub the sleepy out of your eyes, bruh. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you test are you Are you trusting me? It looks like an E from here. Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. Wrong. It's red. But it if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Wow. Be beautiful poem writing. Exquisite. That was beautiful. I actually didn't eat breakfast today, and I'm very hungry right now. I literally had, like, Chex Mix and, and, um, and granola bars. That's all I had for, like, uh, eating today for so far. Oh, yeah. Can I read the scroll? Okay. Beautiful poem. 
It was amazing. I love fubbing the sleepy out of my eyes and wanting breakfast. Sorry, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? Bro, back call out. Oh, oh my god. I'm, I'm just like, oh, I'm just a detective for real. No. Just a little bit. How does that even work? How do you how do you wait just a little bit until morning? Oh, 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 we'll just wait a little bit to write this in the morning. You can't answer just a little bit to the yes or no question. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, my light just got a lot brighter. I forgot to do it last night. Oh, what a bozo. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. For real. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. It's a Sayori poem. Uh, a sleepy. Rub the sleepy. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I, it's bad as good breakfast. I get all cranky. You already you seem like it right now. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. Okay. The next time, I won't forget. Uh, will you? I mean, I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. The music is gone. Oh, and it's back. The music is back. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if ev everyone is judging me for, a me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They, they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. And we, meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Uh oh, they're gonna get into an argue. Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Oh no, she's gonna beat you up! Cute? You completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feelings of giving up. How could that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... The, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Oh my god, man. Come on, man. Do better. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Cody did, too. That's true. But still not as good as mine. Okay, that's enough. I can finally throw out the poems and I shared it with everyone. Ugh. 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 And Cody did too. So we on that. I'm glad he gave you some suggestions of my own. First of all, I'm putting this out. There we go. Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, I'm, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Well, that's rude. <coughs> don't say the word. And Cody liked my poem, too, you know. I like everything. I like lots of things. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh god, the music stopped. And she looks very angry. Oh god, they're getting into an argument. 
Oh god, there's no more music. I don't like this. Oh? I didn't realize you're so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, damn! Oh god, what's happening? They're getting into an argue. Oh, music is back. What is this music? What is it? What is this? Bam. 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 What is, what is this? The music is so weird. Uh. That's goofy. It's the goofy music again, but like weird, weirder. That's not what I. There's no recorder this time. Uh, I hear boyong. You're just. Your stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Cody. What is this music? What is this? What the? Maybe you're just jealous that Cody appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Ooh. Uh huh, and how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Guys, why are you talking about me? I, I Why are you bringing me into the argument? Are you that full of yourself? I spit on my Chromebook. Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I would literally go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh my god! Bro, I'm about to go to a burn center treatment treatment center because that was that was harsh. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I I was the one whose boobs magically grew a bigger size as soon as Cody started showing up. What the heck, bro? Is that how it works? Any, any, um, any part of the, uh, any person of the female species of humans, um, is, is that true? You could just, like, grow them, like, bigger or smaller anytime you want. Just grow them a size bigger. Because that, that, that seems to be how it works. Just saying. <laughs> I was the one whose boobs magically grow a bigger size as soon as Cody started showing him. Bro, oh, why would you do that, though? Not, not Suki. Um, Natsugi, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly both girls turned toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Don't look at me like that. Come on, don't bring me into this, please! No! Cody! She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If I could... If I could get her over, if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making yourself your columns are convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at, at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Cody. Wait, there's a reason we, we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Oh, my, my nose is so stuffy right now. Hold up. There we go. I can actually speak now. Whew. Oh, God. That, that felt horrible. Avoiding them is not only ne unnecessarily li limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Cody? Um... Well, stop! Stop dragging me into this. No, I don't. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve the smoke. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? For real? They started talking about making their boobs bigger because of me. Come on, man. It's it's just it's, it's stop stop talking about your breasts. It's not like I know anything about writing. But who, whomever I agree with, who, who says whomever? That's a weird word. Uh, they'll, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh god, I have to make a choice. Let's do it. Here we go. Natsuki, Yuri, or Natsuki, Yuri, or help me say Yuri. Uh, so of course it's gonna be. Uh, help me! Natsuki. 
Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth, just like Spongebob. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. The music stopped again. Say Yuri! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayuri uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Cody. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your maturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me! Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Oh my god, I didn't know my voice could get that high pitched. Holy crap. I mean, oh, hold on. I, damn it, never, never mind. I was about to do a Mickey Mouse voice, but my voice can't do that anymore. I think I, my voice went too high. It doesn't let me anymore. Hold on. Oh boy. Hold on. Oh, oh. Nope, can't do it. I was trying to do the last. I can do it. But for some reason, it's not working right now. I'll try to do it later or next episode if, if possible. Stop! Oh, wait, no. Stop! There we go. Line. That's what they said. Line. This is this type of song that my dad would play in, like, in the campfire. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Is she crying? Or she, she's crying about this. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your heads. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because... Well, also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same size they always were. Not the big and beautiful, <laughs> big and beautiful boobs. <laughs> oh my god. Why are we talking about breasts? Why are we talking about the boom? Da, 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 da. Sayori. <laughs> Sayori stands triumphantly. She, sta she stands like this. She's like, Ugh. I win. Rests! Forgot my chair. Let me this. Just move my chair back again. Don't mind that. Uh, Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. She, 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 for real, going like, Oh, hong, hong, hong. What do you say? I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. Every, everyone's surprised about the boobs, the breasts. This, so this is why I say Yuri's vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. She, was, she looks angry at me. Okay, never mind. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, it's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. Come on. Come on. Ah, I... There we go. I wasn't able to say anything either. And, the, and it was even directed at me. Well, hold on. I'm trying to... Come on, take off. Yes, I took off the stand of this so I can just hold it now so it's easier. Alright. Now I can just hold it like this and it's a lot easier. I guess I mean Saber is just amazing in her own ways, isn't it? Isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Oh, evil pose! 
I just realized take good care take good care of her. What do you mean? I'm not a babysitter, bruh. I don't take care of her. I don't take care of anyone. I would hate to see herself to see her get herself hurt. It's awfully suspicious of you to say. Cause you're doing the evil pose. You're gonna hurt her, aren't you? With that evil pose. You're gonna like bend over, like right in front of her, and she's gonna go flying because of the evil pose. That's how evil it is. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Oh no. The shoelaces in my tummy are, are getting knotted. Such a genuine person really does make a good present, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. <laughs> Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How how do you do you feel about Shank's poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, let's say it was worth it. It was all right, mostly. Cody, how about you? Nah, I'd say the same. But what? They all said like different things. It was it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Everyone, yeah. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Ugh. And maybe you learn something with from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Dot dot dot. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do at least a good, a, do, at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I only want to impress myself. I nod to myself with a new kind of determination. Undertale glands. It's Cody, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Siri beams at me. A beam! She killed me with the laser beam! Laser beam! Why did I do that? It truly has been a while since Sari and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Okay. Oh, we're back home! Sayori! About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsui, Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Why would I hate them? You, you, they have the, the, the big breasts. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. I got spit on it again because I spit too much. Phew. You know, Cody, it's nice that I got to get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. I know. I'm just a cool little guy. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sayori has, still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. More like an X2 to 1. Dum dum. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, this is again. Gotta save. Ooh. I'm gonna put this down again. Hold on, it might take a moment. Now I can actually hear the music. It's like bit crushed. Oh, well. There we go. Yeah, bit crushed music. That's what it's called. I think I called it just pixelated last time. That was dumb. Alright. Mm. Contamination like zombies again. Uh, I feel a bit pout. Happy to aura. Bunny, perfect. Telling adventure. Adventure! Uh, boop. Uh, wrath. Sticky. Misfortune. Uh, kitty. Just like the kitty out there. It's not there anymore though. Uh, incongruent. Uh, meager. Uh, uh, doki doki. Graveyard. 
Look at zombies with electricity! She's like me, the zapper! Whoa! It's crazy! Uh, papa. Uh, email. Uh, amazing. Effulgent. Uh, sweet. Uh, uncontrollable. Determination Undertale! Massacre! Ooh, I did it! Oh wait, okay. No, I feel like this has gone on for a, quite a while. Um, so... I think I should... Yeah, I should probably just end it here. Um, so... You know guys, I'm gonna end the video here today. And we'll do the next video soon. Okay? Wouldn't that be very fun? Okay. So, I'm go just gonna see you in the next video. So, um, so yeah. Let, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Um, just leave a co maybe leave a comment on what you want me to do in the game. Just no spoilers or I literally will eat your skin. And, uh, yeah, or feel free to leave a comment on any games you want me to play next. If I'm able to, I might. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So, like, we'll see you in the next one or something. Uh, bye-bye. Also, uh, I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna actually type the comment in the, um, or type my poem in the comments. But, yeah. Also, I'm gonna leave, so my Discord, my Twitter is, is gonna be in the description down below. Uh, yes, I do have a Twitter. I post banger tweets, so you gotta follow it right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So, like, see you in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, that's, I'm gonna, oh, wait, no, 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 no.